Now what is up guys Vipers here back with another FIFA 19 video. All of us were eagerly waiting for FIFA 19 player ratings to be revealed by EA but what instead we got is an icon every hour with hashtag of class of 19 on official FIFA EA sports twitter handle and that is exciting. Why? Because today in this year we are going to have a ton of icons. Not only that all the FIFA 18 icons have been carried away in the FIFA 19 database and we are going to have access to all the FIFA 18 icons along with these newly revealed icons and there are ton of them. Let's go and see what icons were revealed in order in which they were revealed on official FIFA EA Sports Twitter handle. So starting with the first icon, Doctor from Brazil, Socrates, 1982 Brazilian captain and 1986 World Cup appearance for Brazil, 22 international goals to his name, a prominent figure in Brazilian politics and football. He is a both footed player so weak start foot skills are going to be insane. All the three versions of this card look insane, 87 rated, 89 rated and 91 rated for physical that he has for the camp position is going to be crucial and, and I think a lot of players are going to use them in building their scores. Next up we have Italian legend and midfielder Gennaro Gattuso who is also currently managing AC Milan. Three versions of the cards are here 85 rated centre bit, 87 rated CDM and 89 rated CDM. My overall thoughts are due to the poor pace, shooting, passing and dribbling as compared to other alternatives in the game. I don't see a lot of people using this card in their competitive squads. Why? Because if let's for example if we compare this card with the Angolo, somebody like Angolo Kante, he is going to have the same physical, same defense with a better pace, a better dribbling ability hands down. As far as I am concerned, I don't see a lot of people using this card. Let's move on to the next one. And we have the Portuguese legend of Luis Figo with 106 goals and 127 caps to his name. Only record being broken by the living legend Cristiano Ronaldo. He is one of the few players who has played for both Barcelona and Real Madrid. All the three cards look insane. 88 rated camp, 90 rated right winger and 92 rated prime card with the right wing position. I think a lot of people are going to use him in the scores that they build because of the strong meta, the strong pace and all the incense stats for attacking stats that he has. I think this is one of the best icons revealed by EA. Let's move on to the next one. We have the German legend and the former Chelsea great Michael Wallach with three versions of his sentiment card. All the three cards look insane. 86 rated sentiment, 91 rated sentiment is a prime card and 89 rated sentiment is a mid-level card. The 91 rated sentiment out of all these three looks dope because of the all the all round stats of complete player in the center mid position in sense stats and I think a lot of people will have their eyes on the 89 and 91 rated center mid card of Michael Black. Let's move on to the next one. The goalkeeper in the series of icons revealed is Jens Lehmann, another German legend and former Arsenal goalkeeper. He comes in three variants 85 rated, 88 rated and 90 rated but as long as goalkeepers are concerned I don't know how many people will actually use the icon as their goalkeepers. Last year we had not seen many people using Yashin or Shimaikal. This year let's see the 85 rated card for instance looks here completely mediocre but 88 and 90 rated card is top notch but people I think will still prefer the current generation Hugo Lloris or Thibaut Courtois or David De Gea. Next we have Irish great George Best and former Manchester United legend we all know him by the name of Bestie and he actually stands out to the name. All the three cards look top and insane 88 rated right wing, 90 rated right wing and 93 rated card. That 93 rated card is a prime icon best card and I think this card looks insane. 93 pace, 91 shooting, 94 dribbling, 84 passing. I see a lot of people using this 93 rated and 90 rated card in their strong weekend league teams and also the competitive FIFA as well. So I think 88 rated card is a good entry level card but 90 and 93 rated card stand out for me and this is one of the best icons revealed by EA. Next we have Christian Vieri, former Italian striker and a legend. He comes in 3 variants of his card, 86 rated, 88 rated and 90 rated. Good overall stats with great physical as for a striker but I think this is one of those cards that it is completely on the fence. Some people might use it, some people might not use him. But uh, this is one of those cards that it is neither desirable nor discard value. I think it stands somewhere in between but good overall card 86 rated, 90 rated and 88 rated are the three variants. Great physical stats in all the three cards. A good card to have for starters but there are better version of the cards available so I think people will have balanced views about this card. Let's move to the next one. Next up we have Bulgarian Legion Striker Stojikov with three versions of this card 87 rated, 90 rated and 92 rated. 
that 90 rated left wing card looks insane with 90 pace, 90 shooting, 90 dribbling and 84 physical and 87 passing. This is one of the best cards as far as odd nations is concerned. It's, it would be interesting to know how people actually use him and connect him in the squad. But all the three variants of the card look insane and this is one of the best cards in the icons list so far. We have Ryan Giggs left mid from Wales and former Manchester United legend. Manchester United fans are having a blast with the icons reveal. So many of their great former great players have been added to FIFA 19 icons this year. So Ryan Giggs is the next one left mid from Wales. He has three variants of his cards, 87 rated, 89 rated and 92 rated. All the three cards look good left mid position. For that position, the pace, shooting, passing and dribbling stats are good enough and I think a lot of players will eventually end up using him in their team. And we also have Paul Scholes, another Manchester United legend former England centre mid and he comes in 3 variants, 87 rated, 89 rated and prime one is 91 rated centre mid but the only downside is the pace that he lacks in all the three versions of his card. I think that will be a big turn down for people to use him in the meta teams and powerful teams in FIFA 19 weekend league or a competitive FIFA. I think he is a great player in the real life but that will that is certainly not reflected in the stats in the in these cards so i don't think most of the people might use him as a reserve but i don't see any point in using him in the powerful meta teams and nevertheless another icon for manchester united fans next to the line is another italian legend and this time a chelsea center forward former chelsea center forward that is gianfranco zola all the three cards 85 rated 87 rated and 90 rated look insane and the, especially the center forward position is crucial to have some stats he has 90 pace for 85 rated card 86 pace for a 90 rated card and 88 pace for 87 rated card that looks good i think this card will be used extensively by those fast paced squads in fifa 19 we have robbie king Irish centre mid from Premier League who had an extensive career with Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspurs. He comes in 3 variants, 86 rated, 88 rated, 90 rated. Centre mid card with low, that low pace will not make the meta of FIFA 19. I don't know how many people are going to use him but some Premier League squads may do feature him. Again the card which might not be used that much. It is on the fence card. Some people might keep him in the collection otherwise they may use him as a SBC burner for better prime icon cards. Next up we have Spanish striker Emilio Betragueno who is also a former Real Madrid star and 87 rated, 90 rated and 92 rated are the three variants of the card. All the three variants look dope. I think a lot of players are going to use him in their squad. This looks a powerful striker icon card and I can't wait to see the in-game stats of this card. Let's move on to the next one. Czech Republic legend and former Juventus star left mid Pavel Nedved is the next icon in the line. All the three cards 86 rated, 89 rated and 91 rated look dope. I think this is one of the desired cards in FIFA 19. Look at all the stats, the pace, the shooting, the passing, the dribbling, all look insane for the left mid. I think most people will be inclined to have him in their club. Another Manchester United legend from Netherlands, Rudman Nesteroy is another icon this year. 86 rated, 90 rated and 92 rated striker card is in line so I think the 92 rated strike prime icon card looks great but 86 and 90 rated may not be that desirable another this is one of them on the fence uh, some people may like to have him some people might not but the 92 rated prime card looks great let's see how the things shape up move on to the next icon we have Mirasola Kloza the former Bundesliga star a German legend and one of the best headers in the game who comes in three variants 87 rated 89 rated and 91 rated and I think people are going to jump on those 89 and 91 rated cards those both the 89 and 91 rated cards look insane I think 89 rated card with 83 pace 81 dribbling 87 shooting looks good the prime icon card I don't know when it is going to be available but whenever it is in the packs or it is in the SBCs people are going to go for that card that looks insane a defender this time former Italian great and Syria star and star defender for AC Milan, Franco Baresi, who comes in three variants 88 rated, 91 rated, and 93 rated center back version. I think the 93 rated center back version looks great, but 88 and 91 rated, I don't know how many people are going to use him because of the low pace that he has and the variants which are already available in the game. And so, much better icons and much better cards on the as far as 88 and 91 rated cards concerned, 93 rated is looks a desired one. Let's see the in-game stats and decide if he is worth it or not. We have Spanish centre back Fernando Hierro as the next icon, who is also a Real Madrid star with the nickname Iron Man, and we all know why he was called Iron Man. Look at those defending and physical stats for a centre back with 71 pace, decent pace, I guess, but the defending physical 
stats look insane so he was called by the nickname iron man 86 rated 89 rated 91 rated center back all the three cards look good we will have to wait for the full game to release to see how these icons shape up another striker this time from england gary lineker who played for england and scored 10 world cup goals also he made brief appearances for leicester city barcelona and tottenham Hotspurs. he comes in with three variants 87 rated 89 rated and 92 rated great pace great dribbling great shooting i think this makes for a best card in the attacking position i think all the three cards are desirable all the three cards should be in the top teams of fifa 19 let's move on to the next one next up we have bobby boor the legendary English defender with three variants 87 rated 89 rated 92 rated King Pele once described him as the one of the best defenders that he ever came across that in itself is a compliment 87 rated card and 89 rated card and 92 rated card the only downside is the pace a great player in their life whether he will be that effective in FIFA 19 or not only time will tell but nevertheless there are better defenders with better pace and better dribbling and better shooting at, at the center back position so I think we will have to wait and see how this card figures out. Next we have David Trezeguet, French legend and former Juventus star with 86 rated, 89 rated and 91 rated striker card. The card looks good but nothing extraordinary because there are already some icons in FIFA 18 they are better paced than this one. I don't know how many people are going to go for this card. This looks mediocre for me. Some people might, some people might not. Let's wait for the game to launch and figure out how this card shapes out. Another defender from England, Saul Campbell with 3 cards, 85 rated, 89 rated, 87 rated, 89 rated being, being the prime card. I think the stats look insane even for 85 rated center back. Look at that 84 pace, 85 defending, 85 physical. That's the desirable stats for a center back in modern day FIFA also. I think this is a good card for meta defending in FIFA 19 powerful squads. I think all the 3 cards look good but the 89 rated card looks great with 90 defending and 90 physical i think it's going to be a most desired defender icon card in fifa 19. hiritoshi nakata japanese legend and former Serie A star is the next icon in the camp position with three cards 85 rated 86 rated and 88 rated all the three cards look good the stats of pace shooting passing and dribbling on the camp position look great for the 85 rated card 86 rated card has decent pace shooting and passing and dribbling also 88 rated card is also looking good but i don't know how many people are going to use him and if they are going to use him then how they are going to use him it would take the for the full game release to figure out how this card prospects in future and finally we have another manchester united legend and argentinian footballer juan sebastian veron in center mid position 86 rated 88 rated and 90 rated are the variants of the three cards and all the stats basically look good for the center mid position he's he's easy to connect with being argentinian in the center mid position and i think a lot of players are going to use him the stats look balanced he's one of the best and balanced card in the center mid position that concludes the list of 24 new icons released by ea do tell me in the comments below guys which icons are you going to perceive which icons do you like the most and which icons are you going to have in your teams in fifa 19 also hit the like and subscribe button and stay in touch for fifa 19 regular content year along till then peace